Hello and welcome to Infinity. When you're trying to get a white balance right, um, the classic tool to use is guess what the white balance. This can help you get it quite quickly and you can play around with these and, and so on but you're never sure whether you've got it right. So uh, you've got the picker here and typically what you do with the picker is you can click on something that's white or black or something so let's click on the screen there nothing much seems to happen and this is what happens sometimes it doesn't quite work as you'd hoped so um, there are people here with clothes on you know, and you think is that colored the original color you don't know so a way of addressing this let's just turn that off so we've still got that available for now is you go here you can add a fill layer above it so I go to layer, new fill layer, and I want to make this gray because I'm going to look for the gray point now, now not just the white or black, but the, that middle point. So if I click on the color here, it's a solid, which is what I want. If I go to swatches, then in here, look, I've got, you know, blank or nothing, black, white, and in the middle, gray, 50% gray, which is quite handy. So there's my fill layer. Now I want to do a effectively a, a subtraction, a difference between this and the original because what I'm saying is subtract one from the other and I'm going to get the closest to grey that I can because if they're both the same then the result is zero so it should appear as black So because black is zero. So let's go down to difference and here I've got things and already you can see bits this this and so on so let's Let's narrow this down and a way to do this is to go to a threshold layer and I want to put this at the top. There we go. And as I pull this down, it's the last bit of black standing is the one that I'm going to want. And unsurprisingly, here we go, here's that chap there. If, it's, if the picture is disappearing, by the way, Something you can easily do is turn the opacity down to about 50% and you can see the picture underneath so it's easier to locate where it is. You can also use a marker on it, for example, from the info panel, which you can get to through Studio, but we know where it is here, so we won't do that for now. So let's take those off and we'll put this one on again here, get our picker. And we click in that area there, which we know is very close to grey. And again, nothing happens. You know, so, and, it, and part of the reason for this is this is blue. So it's got some blue in it, maybe close to grey, but it's got blue in it. And so it's trying to preserve the blue. And so it's co fighting against yellow, which there's obviously quite a lot of because it's in indoor lighting and so on. So we need to go back a little bit and rethink this in a little bit more detail. See, this sometimes works, but in this case it doesn't. And we want to look for something that is more likely to, to be um, a, a white or a grey or a neutral colour. Um, so let's go back to this again, turn this on again, and then we go back to the threshold. And we're going to turn this up a bit and see what else pops up around here. And here's something here, this coat here, if we turn the fill layer off, this looks like it should be a kind of grey colour, shouldn't it? I don't think that's going to be yellow. So that would be pretty good. So let's try that. So yeah, there, see so just right at the top, I think that was where that was, isn't it? See, it's like just at the top there that it's, it's happening most. I'll turn that off again there. Um, bring back the white balance and use the picker and click up here, wasn't it? That was about where the grey was. And look, that's better already, isn't it? And unsurprisingly here, it's, it's pushed right down into the blue to add more blue to compensate for the, the yellow cast that was there. So that's the way to use the grey layer to, with a threshold adjustment to find out where the grey is and with that extra thing of 
watching out for things which you know should be grey and don't have a colour cast themselves. Okay, there we go. Thank you very much for watching.